Hi everybody, Steve here again. <laughs> right, well I'm out here in Scotland, in some mountains, and I'm going to show you something that I have seen many times over the last 12 years, but until recently I failed to see what I was looking at because I didn't have a reference point on what I was looking at. Many people walk by here, many tourists, and don't even notice the treasures we have here in Scotland. And in fact, what I'm going to show you now is not even mentioned in the tourist board. There's a tourist board sign over there that points out to about seven archaeological places to visit. It doesn't even mention what I'm going to show you now. And we have evidence that they're hiding these places. They surround the place by trees and woods in the hope that it will go away and nobody will notice, but why? Okay, this video is actually the climax of what I've been doing because I filmed this all before months ago, but we wanted to get a better filming. We wanted to show you something quite fantastic. What we were showing you behind us here are structures of rock that pretty much defy explanation. They're certainly not the way we would build in the last thousand years. It's nothing I was taught in construction about putting the big boulders on the bottom and the small bricks on the top. Here you have something unique where somebody built many times with small rocks on the bottom and then bigger rocks as you go up. And this is just a tiny glimpse of things. This goes about another 15 meters straight up. And it not only here, this little bit that's coming out of the ground now, but it goes on for a long way in that direction and a long way that direction, but it's mostly hidden by um, undergrowth and the earth. And uh, like I said, I've studied all these things for the last two months. Uh, I've studied many sciences and I want to show you more of these rocks here because they defy explanation. Like I tried to brush this off. The first time I saw it, I thought, well, maybe this was just the antics of some lord a hundred years ago just to make something fancy at the end of his garden but the more i studied these things the more i realized no it could not be these were not built recently these were built in the very very far past because they do defy construction explanation there's only way i can put it we have also here something very odd too these stones have holes in them and the holes go right deep into the rocks now i couldn't tell you if the holes were put there in modern times for whatever reason I can't tell you but all I can tell you is those holes are very smooth very very smooth indeed yes they're completely fused all the way around I don't know any what we'd have to make something like that well these ones these ones are actually quite these are quite shallow they only go that far I've seen other ones that go much deeper what were they used for I don't know but my main interest here Look at this structure here. This looks like a Indian totem pole. <laughs> um, but you'll notice also here that has some sort of cement between these rocks. And the cement is very strange. It's made of, it seems to be made of rock. Um, but it's so old, sometimes you can get a piece off and it just crumbles to dust in your hand. But it's as heavy as rock. Very odd. Um, but the big question, the reason I'm filming this, the big question is, was this built by people or did it accidentally nature pile all these rocks one on top of the other? Now, and the more we've studied this, the more we think that it is man-built. It's built by somebody because of the way it's got, it's got uh, mortar between the rocks going up. Um, here's, you can see it here. Right here, can you see that mortar there between the rocks? See it here? It even comes off. It feels, it feels like sand, but it's heavier than that. And it's like layered rock, you see? Right, this, this is black, you know, it's very hard to explain this. This is, it's a solid rock, and then you've got something that looks like rock or fused rock. Um, to me, it, it could be rock itself, but how on earth would you make liquid rock? and put it between big stones. That's what it looks like. It looks like layered rock happened from liquid rock a very long time ago. Put these stones together. I can't explain that because we don't do things like that now. 